Welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. It is 5.30 in the evening and I'm afraid I haven't filmed anything all day because I haven't done much. I've just been working. I've been in the flat and I've been doing boring things. I had a plum around this morning and it's just been one of those days where there was just no opportunity to like film anything exciting. Um, oh, I did get my nails done though. Um, but they're just very natural, you wouldn't even be able to tell. But that was nice because everything opened up today and it feels like there's a really nice buzz about London. Well, I've only been in like my local area, just walking down the road, but it's so nice to see all the independent businesses open up again and it feels lovely to be able to support them again. Um, the ones that have been able to reopen, it's so sad, the ones that have really struggled because it has just been such a tough year for um, the small independents, um, especially. Anyway, I thought as I'm getting ready, I would film my hair care routine. Well, it's not really a routine because I don't have a routine, but just at least, show you how I do my hair because like I said everything has reopened in the UK today and it was my dear friend Charlotte's 30th birthday over lockdown and as you can imagine we had all of these big plans and celebrations and none of it could happen. So tonight, now that restaurants are open and Charlotte and I both live on our own, we are going to bubble and have a nice dinner, just the two of us. Um, I think we're actually having dinner outside. <laughs> which will be interesting uh, because it's freezing but I'm just going to have to wrap up really warm but it's really exciting because it's an opportunity to get dressed up finally so I've done my makeup and um yeah just before I did my hair I thought do you know what I'm going to film this so I guess um starting with what I use to wash my hair I use living proof and this is such a lovely lovely hair care brand I really got into it actually in the first lockdown and I've just been obsessed ever since and they're completely silicone free the brand is very science based so they have created these formulas that are silicone free and sulfate free but they're really really effective so I use the perfect hair day collection like all all of my products pretty much from Living Proof are from that collection. They have loads of different ones like a frizz one, um, like basically whatever, whatever kind of hair you have, they've basically got the collection for you. Their Perfect Hair Day um, Dry Shampoo is amazing as well, but I did wash my hair this morning so I don't need that. And I leave my hair to dry naturally most of the time, so this morning I just um, washed it, used shampoo and conditioner and then I just let it air dry. And um, I only brush it once when it's wet with my Manta hairbrush. This thing looked so odd. I think this was sent to me and I was like, what on earth is this? This is not a hairbrush, but it's amazing. I really, really love it. So yeah, I only um, brush it when it's wet when I get out the shower and you can see I get like these kind of strange curly bits. Um, but I will brush it through now because I am about to curl it so I don't want any knots in there But as you can see like this brush just completely goes through it. It's amazing um, With a normal brush my hair would really be tugging and it would be a bit of a, a fight a Bit of a battle brushing my hair and in terms of my color the top bit Pretty much like all of this is just my natural colour and then I have balayage at the Samantha Kuzik salon in Notting Hill and it was actually slightly, I don't know, slightly different colour to this but because of lockdown I do now need a toner because it's um, gradually just got lighter and lighter so I will be going back there soon just to top it up and I actually much prefer the lighter colour. I had my hair um, not stripped but taken back almost to my completely natural colour about a year ago, year and a half ago and I had just my natural brown and I thought okay this suits me the best but since having the blonde put back in through the ends I've realised I feel like this complements my skin tone a lot better. You know when you just look back on photos of like how your hair was and you think oh no what was I thinking? <laughs> So I'm going to show you the way that I curl my hair. I'm using the GHD straighteners. Um, I have just found 
curling my hair. They're not on, by the way. <laughs> if you're like, what is she doing? <laughs> They're not on. Um, yeah, I don't use a curling tong um, often, anyway, to curl my hair because I've got this technique with the straighteners that I personally find really easy and I love the effect it gives. So this is like my go-to way of doing my hair. I will turn them on now. And then I've got my scrunchie that literally travels the world with me. I've had it for years. Don't know how I haven't lost it because I lose everything else in my life, but the scrunchie, that stays. And I basically just section like the bottom half there, so that's what I'll work with first. And I do this in three sections. So yeah, just starting with the, the bottom half. I mean, I think I'm ready to go. <laughs> what a look. And then I section the back in half and bring that forward like that. And then this is where it gets interesting, <laughs> for me anyway. <laughs> so instead of doing the classic like curl, what I'm gonna do is bend the hair like that. And as I take it further down, I just clamp it into place. It's, it's really hard to describe, I'm just gonna show you. So I just keep basically bending <laughs> or curling the hair in a different direction. And then the straighteners set it in place so you end up with this lovely natural beach wave and then I tend to just like leave that end like that and there you go and it doesn't need to be perfect the idea is that every time it is slightly different anyway because then you get that real natural beach wave so that's what I'm gonna do I'll show you again because I feel like that was the worst way of describing what I'm doing. I've never had to describe this method before. Um, so can you see like I'm bending it there. I need to find another word other than bending. Yeah and you're just like tapping the straighteners down. You're not holding it for too long. And it doesn't need to be perfect as you can see. I'm not even very good at this method um, but I find it just doesn't really matter because yeah I like the unperfect look oh that was a good one there we go just did my best one okay so I've done the bottom layer I feel like I haven't done it very well tonight. I don't know why. I think, yeah. Oh no, it's okay actually. No, that's good. We're good. Right, next layer. I hope this is helpful. Um, I just thought I would share like what I do because I do get quite a lot of messages asking about my hair care routine and the reason I never do it is honestly because there just isn't, I don't know, I've just always felt like there isn't much of a routine, but I don't know, maybe you'll find this helpful. <laughs> oh dear, please don't end up looking like this. This is not the purpose of the video. <laughs> okay, right, next layer. I basically just have to find um, the fluffy bits <laughs> that I haven't um, gone over already. So, is that about it? Yep, and then I throw that bit behind that I've already done and then I start from the back, take a section and then I just continue my method. I hope you're understanding like, the yeah, what I'm doing. It, I do feel like it's better for me to just not talk and you observe. Right, I'm gonna make this one a really good one. A hairdresser did say to me that it's actually easier to do this without a mirror. I haven't tried it because I do rely on the mirror a lot. There we go. Yeah, I use the mirror to to just see what I'm doing. I don't think I could do this without looking. Give it a go. No, I, I just don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna burn my hair. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, the final section of what I tend to do is I curl my hair with a middle parting and then I end up just like sweeping it over like that. Right, I'm going to use the Smart Skin Cleanser because it's a sharp edge. There we go. And then I literally just make a rough line and then it should just separate easily. There we go. Middle parting sorted. Is that even in the middle? Ah, it'll do. Okay, so just going to do these last few bits and then we're done. I'm running a bit late, I think. I don't even know what I'm going to wear. Still in my jumper that I've been wearing all day. Um, it is cold and we're potentially sitting outside, so what do you wear? I do want to wear my heeled boots because I haven't worn heels in forever. Uh, and then I'm thinking maybe a nice jumper with a skirt and tights. Weirdly, I, I know this is a hair care video and I'm really going off on a tangent now, but I've never been a fan of tights. I just think it's impossible to make them look chic. However, Organic Basics have um, released these beautiful tights that are really good quality and I think they have uh, swayed me and they've convinced me that tights can be chic. <laughs> so maybe I'll wear those, yeah, with a nice mid-length skirt, roll, roll neck jumper and heeled boots. Sorted. I'm rushing now and they're not coming out as good. I feel like my concentration face is so um, serious. How's that looking? I love these curls. Perfect. Yeah, I used to do the, you know, when you do this and like turn it and that was like my go-to way of curling my hair however I'm just not a massive fan at the moment of those ringlet curls I much prefer beachy kind of non-perfect waves but yeah I like that <laughs> And it was a good one. There we go. All done. And this will slightly drop. I mean, look at how crazy my hair is. <laughs> it takes so long because there's so much of it. Um, but this will eventually drop out and will just look way more natural. That is mad, isn't it? Oh, I get this hair from my mum. I should also say this actually. There's only so much I can say in terms of my hair care re regime, but you know, like the health of your hair um, or the nature of your hair comes from, from nature, it's genetics, right? And my mum's hair is exactly the same um, in my family. Like my mum, my grandma, my auntie, my cousin, even Daisy May, like we naturally have a lot of hair. Um, which I'm really pleased about, but it is rather high maintenance and it takes a long time to do anything with it. Um, which is why I don't curl it or dry it or put heat on it or anything generally on a day to day basis. So normally I just let it air dry and then that's me done. That's it. Um, although the products I do use, so I'm now going to use the Vanishing Oil. This is also by Living Proof and this is from their Frizz range. So... I mean, my hair isn't actually too frizzy, but there are like quite a lot of flyaways. So I'm just going to take some of this oil and just a few drops. This doesn't make your hair greasy. Just adds like a really nice shine and just tames it slightly. Mainly just focusing through the ends. Oh, this oil smells amazing. I love it. So this is obviously the middle parting, but I will just flick it over like that. And that's me done. Shall I do a little 360 for you, so you can see? So there you go, that is my hair care routine when I'm getting ready to go out. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm sorry this isn't like a normal vlogmas, um, but I have had so many requests for this, so I thought it was about time I showed you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!